guys, happy Tuesday. All right, so we are going to do this haul in sort of like vlog format. I thought this would be the most, let's say helpful way for me to do this video, just given the update that I have to give you guys. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna plop you guys down, which this is how my brain works. Before I forget, it's gonna be a minute before I talk to you guys about this, but if you like the books that I've recommended, this might be something that you thoroughly enjoy, especially if you're incapable of being mindful. Mindful means like present. So I let my brain kind of snowball and derail and go like five miles, five miles per hour, wish five miles per hour, like 5,000 miles per hour and I'm like two years in the future instead of enjoying the present moment. And uh, this is so, it's like it holds your hand, it helps you journal, it teaches you things, it's super helpful. And the inside is like, a dream. It's like a coloring book for a grown-up, except there's there's no co there's no coloring involved. All right, you guys. So today is Tuesday. I just got home from an appointment, uh, Wesley's ophthalmology follow-up appointment. I've told you guys our boy is, you know, he's he's at the tail end of of his glorious life, and uh, we're just kind of waiting for him to let us know what's going on. But uh, when it comes to Ernie we kind of got some shocking news. And because of that news, your girl made pretty, pretty bad decisions. And so this is gonna be a vlog update slash haul video. So I hope that you'll enjoy the format. It's gonna feel like just two girls hanging out or maybe boys, I don't know, hanging out, talking about how exciting makeup is and uh, retail therapy really is therapy and also what's going on with our girls. So let me figure out where I'm gonna plop you guys down. Well, that was easy enough. All right, we're gonna start with the haul first just so that I can get it out of the way in case I get like super ugly crying. It's not gonna interfere with the goodness that is in these bags. So do any of you guys like go to your therapist, sit down and when they ask you how you're doing, you're coping, are you using healthy coping mechanisms and you say, yes, I went to Sephora? No, just, just me? I don't know, something about retail therapy, it really just in that moment takes your mind off what's going on. It gives you something to use in the future, like a toy. It's like, it's like a child going to talk Target or Toys R Us, I just gave away my age, and just cheers you up. So we left Ernie to get some tests and labs and stuff done on Friday, and the hypothesis, is that even the right word? Like the, the just from the initial drop off, she needed to have something done, and we had to wait until Monday yesterday night for the results. So as I was getting half of the bad news and stewing over the results, I dragged my butt to Ulta and Sephora and I made it happen. And you know what? It was very easy to justify because I needed some refills on things. The Sephora, there is no, there is no, ju there is no justification for this. However, the Ulta, you know, that was an easy, well, I needed it, so I got it and that's it. So. Went to Ulta, used my coupon, got some points. You guys have heard me talk about the Biolage Volume Bloom. I got the big daddy of the conditioner because I noticed that when I wanna leave my hair like this to air dry naturally, if I use the native, it doesn't give me the look that I want. It makes my hair feel nice, it blow dries nice, it's super awesome and I love it, but when I wanna leave my hair natural and air dry, this conditioner is a lot easier to use and to detangle in the shower because when I get out of the shower and I wanna leave my hair like this, I don't brush it. So I just let it air dry. So I detangle in the shower because obviously my hair is color treated and it gets super yucky and gross and there's breakage and all that jazz. So I detangle in the shower, just put a towel in my hair, one of those like turby twists. And then when I get out, it's already detangled. So this shampoo, this shampoo and conditioner, like the duo, those are probably my favorites. I do love Native, but this is just somehow easier to find. So with Native, I love their Shine Spray, their Seven Seconds Detangler, their Boing Curl Leave-In Conditioner. That's what I have in my hair now. So I don't know, I think I'm kind of in a polyamorous relationship with Biolage and Unite. You know, that's okay, that's fine. The other thing that I got and take my advice, don't get this from Ulta, 
unless you have a coupon or you have rewards or they're having a sale or whatever because it is almost two dollars cheaper at Target however my Target no longer sells it and I can't ship it to myself it's weird, right? So I don't know if maybe they're not going to carry it anymore, but this is the shave cream from EOS, the dry skin version. They have a sensitive skin and a dry skin version. They also have shave creams that come with pumps. Those are not, I like them. I love them. However, these are where it's at. Like this is the one that I love. This is the one that I use. This is the one that's the best. And so I had a coupon for think $20 off 75 or something like that so I was like okay you know I'm just getting things that I need so it doesn't feel like I'm overpaying for it okay maybe I could have saved three dollars by getting it at Target but I couldn't find it and when I tracked it it was like out of stock out of stock out of stock like all over the place so I don't know what's going on and then these two I got just because you know I waited 10 years to try this mascara 10 I waited 10 years to try this mascara and I think I'm finally ready and I think I'm ready because of the newer version that they launched so if you guys have been around since the good old YouTube days where you sat on the floor and did your makeup in front of your bed Carly Bible was single-handedly responsible for making the original telescopic mascara popular so I figured you know what they just there's hype around this one right now, like so much hype about this new mascara that I might as well use both and try them out and then let you know what I think. L'Oreal is not a cruelty-free brand, by the way, so just an FYI, but I just thought, you know what? It's Mascara Day, National Mascara Day or whatever, and I think they were on sale. They had 30% off or something, and that was that was my justification. So as I waited and I stewed and, and just waiting on results, I was like, you know what? I have some stuff I need to get. I, Okay, I needed most of those things. And because there was a Sephora grand opening <laughs> in Prosper, so if you are familiar with the Dallas area, there are a lot of communities nearby. It's like saying, I'm from San Diego, however, we live in Chula Vista. That's where, I, where my parents still are. So if you're in Dallas, you can be in Plano, you can be in Little Elm, you can be in Prosper, in, um, Selina. When I moved here and I called it Selina, I got corrected so badly. And I was like, okay, but that's not how you say it. It's not Selina, it's Selina. So I have to arbitrarily say it wrong because that's just how everyone says it. I have some I have some feelings. I have some thoughts. So in Prosper, they opened a new Sephora, you guys, and it is a dream. I have never seen the associates so kind, so eager to help, so they knew their stuff. They knew where the back stock was. They were prepared and their host, oh man. I was like, do you want to be my friend? He was so cool. Even the boys, I took the boys with me. In fact, I got to give props to my child, Mateo, because most of the things in this bag were sold out or not available. He found them all for me. So these are all things that I have been wanting to try. Some are loves, some I instantly fell in love with when I walked into Sephora. So I was like, yes, be a part of my life. This, I do have buyer's remorse because it was very expensive. You guys know how I feel about fragrance. It just does something to you. So this is from a brand I've never heard of. It's Heretic, Parf Heretic Parfum. There, right there. Heretic Parfum. It's called Dirty Coconut. It is a plant-based perfume. They have a few scents. It is what every sexy sun tanning oil, summer scent, sweaty summer nights dancing should smell like. I was concerned that it wouldn't last all day, that it wouldn't have that longevity and it does. Oh my goodness. They have a one ounce, I think for $65. And then they have, I think this is the two ounce. It's almost twice as big and it's more than $65. Let's just put it at that. But if you guys trust me on scents and you love that sun smell, that coconut, that tanning oil, but with a little bit of a, like an edge, this is probably my favorite thing of this whole, per this is what's gonna carry me through my grief. <laughs>
I wish it were that easy. A product that I was actually pretty curious to try just because you know how I feel about Sol de Janeiro. Their Boom Boom uh, body oil, it's the Fermeza oil. It's supposed to ferment and depuff your body. When I walked in, I immediately saw it. And do you know what my son said to me? He's like, are you having a baby? And I was like, Bruh. I'm sorry, what? You didn't hear that, telling my friend, you know, the greeter. He's like, are you having a baby? I'm like, no, why? Oh, because aren't you supposed to put oil in your body when you have a baby in your tummy? I was like, yeah, but so many questions. Like, how do you know this? This is not for that, but um, I feel some type of way now. Anyway, I'm not a big tester when I'm in the store. I do not like to use testers. I do not like to rub my hands or fingers and things. I'd rather buy it and love it or buy it and depending on what it is, I'll return it or I'll just give it to a friend. Usually I end up passing it on because I, but when's the next time I'm gonna go to the store? It happens like once a blue moon or once every bad news. No, I, then I practically live at the store. So it comes in a glass bottle, you guys. So it's super luxe. The bottom is silicone, it has like a silicone grip on it. So it's not gonna clank, clank, clank every time you put it down on your vanity or wherever you keep it. I think I'm a convert. I think I'm a full 100% convert on dewy, on you know body oils, on heavy creams. Like I think I have officially embraced my rhinocerousness and to tell you that this feels so incredible it's so difficult to explain because when it comes out it's a it's an oil it feels like an oil you know it 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 smells like the traditional boom boom scent so it has that like toasted pistachio vanilla deliciousness oh my god i need to open it and i don't want to mess up my manicure do any of you guys look i just did that shoot do any of you guys plan uh opening your packages based on whether or not you have a manicure that can get ruined? No, just, just me. If someone's not around to help, I'll use tweezers or scissors, but this is, this is not okay. So it comes with a little pump. I love how they package it separately. So A, it's not gonna spill and B, they can make, you know, a different style of packaging. That's what it looks like. Let me see if I can get some out without making a mess. Okay. So just to show you the viscosity of the oil, it's like a classic oil. It almost feels like bio, bio oil. Was that the one that you use on your tummy, that like peach colored one? It feels like that. It smells delicious and the scent is actually not as, it's not, it's not like I remember the classic scent. It almost, maybe I'm pickled or maybe I haven't used it in a while where it's a novelty again, but it just smells so nice. But it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily. Like you're not worried where if you go sit somewhere, you're gonna leave like the oil, the oil slick. So you saw how much I took out and it just, it's so lovely. I could see myself using this at night. So like after I get out of the shower, using that as lotion. When I shower at night, I'm way too lazy to put on body lotion or body cream. I just go to bed. But this one feels so nice and nourishing. It's not heavy. It just feels like a really rich oil. And I am so sorry that I've had gum in my mouth this whole time. Please excuse me. Crisis averted. All right, I just, I didn't even realize <laughs> I'm that girl. So anyway, the oil is fabulous. It's definitely a luxury item i would say it's something that if you want to pamper yourself or you really have that you just like the oils you like the dewiness the oil i uh, i think this is going to be like my summertime smooth like a seal move you know all right yes you know all right three more items the first one is already a love of mine, but I was able to get my hands on a third shade. So the PhD uh, hybrid lip oil from House Labs, the Lady Gaga brand. This is the orange shade, it's called Secondary. I also have the Berry, which is tint, and Primary, which is like a raspberry shade. These are awesome. They leave a very beautiful tint on your lips, but they also feel really comfortable. They almost remind me of, I think. Do you guys remember the YSL lip oils? Oh my god. 
I lost my poop when those came out. It was one of my favorite beauty discoveries. I had so many different shades and I think they got discontinued. Not to mention they were probably like a thousand dollars each, but oh boy, I love this. So you can see it's barely any tint, but it just gives you that perfect, even, glowy, smooth feeling. I am a fan. You guys know I've gone on my tangents and rants about matte skin, matte eyeshadow, matte, matte long wearing lip colors. I have left that in the past and I realized that just because something is popular or trending doesn't mean that you need to follow that trend. So that's kind of what happened to me with, with matte stuff. But I also... I feel some type of way with heavy glosses on days especially like this where I don't have any makeup on. So it's a really nice touch for days where you want to do a no makeup makeup look. It's a really nice product to have in your purse when you have no makeup on. It's a really nice product to put on before Pilates because it makes your lips feel nourished and hydrated but it just has just enough tint of color. And the colors vary enough to actually look different. So Berry is probably my favorite one. It's not called Berry, it's called Tint. It's the Berry shade. That one's my favorite, and this is secondary. It's the orange, so you can tell. It just kind of takes your lip color and makes it pop, adds a little bit layer of like, hey, awesome. So also, you guys know that my one and done loose powder from, no, Naked on the run, naked on the go. Anyway, there is a loose Urban Decay powder that I fell in love with. It has a little brush on top, but like a lot of Urban Decay products, I swear they discontinue like 80% of their new product launches. And so that's discontinued. And when I was Googling it to see if anyone had overstocked product of it, uh, there wasn't, but you could buy it used off of like Mercari or Poshmark. Am I that daring? No. Am I brave? 100% not like that. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I've had a lot of great luck with House Labs and they have a loose powder, which not only has really nice packaging, which makes sense, I thought I could benefit from trying a new product that is actually, oh no, hold please. I set you guys up on the table. So like if I rip into any of these products in front of me, I will have a full on earthquake. So anyway, the House Labs loose powders, they're called Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. So this powder comes in three shades and a translucent. I'm not very consistent when it comes to my skin tone or the face products that I use. So going the, oh, I love this. See the little sifter? So we're gonna take that off. I don't know, do I wanna take it off now? Am I ready to get that deep into this haul? Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. So that is perfect. Look at that. Take out just enough product. It has a nice little dent or like a divot in the bowl. It's almost like a little bowl. So I know exactly where my product is and that it's not going anywhere. Not like that other one, man. I'm telling you, everything that I fall in love with gets discontinued. So probably shouldn't be talking about this. Look at how pretty the packaging is. Isn't that stunning? Uh, it's kind of big for the amount of product you get. There's only 0.24 ounces or seven grams of product in here. So I'll have to update you on this to see if it replaces my one and whatever, my Urban Decay one. And, uh, and see if I like it or if I don't, you know, or maybe I should have gotten the golden. I don't know. We still don't know. And then the last product that I got was from Summer Fridays or Sunny Fridays, how Mateo calls it, because he's the one that actually found this for me. We couldn't find it anywhere and he found where it was located at the store. So he's so proud of himself. But I, uh, you know, right now I'm just in that phase of like, I just spot conceal or I use a skin tint or something super light, super dewy. So when I heard that Summer Fridays had a sheer skin tint I was like yes come to mama it is considered clean beauty so if that's something that motivates you or is a selling point it is a clean beauty product and I'm in the shade four so you can hear you know what I miss that Maybelline product that came in these in the glass bottles it was like a glass rectangle and it was super liquidy and you had to shake it because otherwise all the pigment, pigment would sink to the bottom. I love that stuff. I don't even remember what it was called, but I know for sure it's been obsolete for years. 
And so this little guy, I don't even know. I mean, it's light coverage. Uh, the claims are sheer buildable color. It provides even healthy appearance. It has hydration. It's weightless. And it has uh, sheer to light coverage with natural finish and flexible shades. So it's a layerable product. So that's, I mean, cool, but not really. I mean, I really just... I would just use this in addition to whatever concealer I decide to use that day. So there's a little, there's a little drop. That is shade four. And I was kind of in between this and shade three, but shade three leaned a little cool. So I would rather be more, I'd rather be closer to my undertone than to my shade. So if I were to use the exact shade match on my skin, but the undertone didn't match, it would be way more obvious than if I use one that is not my skin tone, but the right undertone. So does that make sense? So if I were to use like a light medium foundation, but the undertones were cool, it would look way worse than if I had a match, a shade match that is not the right color, but the undertone is neutral to warm or golden. I think, I hope that makes sense. I think it does, but that's it. Dried down, isn't that beautiful? It feels really nice. I should probably not layer it over the Sol de Janeiro Firmeza oil, but you know, this is who we are. So that is it for the haul. I will make sure to list all of these products in the description box below, and I'll update you in other videos on whether or not I'm still loving these products or how I feel about them or what I think about them, but y'all know this is already like a super favorite holy grail product of mine. This for me was love at first sight when I walked into the store and put it on my arms. And if you are a fragrance person, <sighs> dirty coconut. I mean, even the name is like, <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait for someone to stop me and say, excuse me, what perfume do you use? And I'm gonna be like, dirty coconut girl. You, yeah, no, it might be a little weird, but you know what? They won't forget the name. Maybe that's why they did it. <laughs> you guys are here for the update on Mern. If you're still here, thank you. So Ernie, Ernie is our nine year old healer, Australian healer. She's been all over Instagram and our YouTube and she was supposed to be our healthy pup that outweighed or outlasted all the other ones in this house. So it's uh, so hard to give you an update like this because it doesn't make sense. You know that meme where the lady's like, and there's all these algebra and calculus signs all over her and she can't figure it out. That's, that's kind of where we're at with her right now. So Ernie, uh, in the last month or so, uh, started to get really bloated really round, round, round belly and firm. She looked like a little pregnant goat. And I'm gonna skip all the negative parts to that story, but after advocating for my own dog, I took her to a different vet that had the equipment that we needed to give her the proper tests. This was on Friday. We dropped her off and midday they called us and said, hey, we were able to do the ultrasound, but through this ultrasound, we also found that she has at least eight inches deep of loose fluid in her abdomen. We recommend draining it. And once we drain it, we recommend sending that fluid to get tested. I asked point blank directly to the vet, do you feel comfortable telling me best case, worst case scenario of what you think this is? She said yes. She gave me a long list of things and never said cancer, but I asked her, is this a possibility? Is there a possibility that this is cancer? And she said, yes, that is a very likely possibility, but because of where it's located, we're just kind of focusing on liver illnesses. So, you know, I stewed and stewed and stewed and stewed. They drained her, she came home, she was super happy. She's always happy. Nothing has changed in her. She's still food motivated, she's still spunky, she's still happy, she just had the big belly. So we wait Friday, Saturday, Sunday, two vlogs later, and yesterday night the vet calls me and lets me know that she has a 11 centimeter tumor on her liver that is inoperable and given how she's how she's collected all of that loose fluid and looking at the scans because the mass is so big it's pushing on other vital organs and the vein that carries blood to her liver and so it's one of those things where you can paint the prettiest results it's not something you navigate your way out of. 
And I think that's the hardest part for us to accept is it doesn't make sense. So we were given a very gross rough timeline and I don't mean gross in a negative way I just mean like an arbitrary timeline of what this means and what her what this means for her life expectancy so from her behavior from all the fluid from how she's doing from the initial scans and labs if the cancer hasn't spread and it's still focused or centralized on her liver she has probably a life expectancy of about six months but because she has re retained that that fluid because they, they drained four liters out of her abdomen that's more than a gallon it just shows that there's there's a lot going on there that they can't see really well if the cancer hasn't spread she has about six months and if it has obviously less so in two days, we're going to take her back to get an x-ray to see if the cancer has moved up in terms of like the location. We suspect that it has. We suspect that it's in her lungs and her esophagus and then decide what we want to do in terms of her quality of life. I don't know anything about treatment. I don't know anything about what we're gonna do. In fact, we would need to find a veterinary oncologist for her if it's even worth it or worth investigating just because it's, I mean, the mass is so large. Wesley had a follow-up appointment today with his vet and you know we had a very candid conversation about his quality of life and it just looks like we're gonna lose two dogs really soon and it's not fair something that gives me peace and so much peace is knowing that as selfish as it is to want to keep them my entire life I know that I have been a part of their entire life and that gives me so much peace you know they didn't know a life without me they didn't know a life without love and care and joy and I know what I signed up for and this is part of life you can't have life and beautiful memories without death and grief I know that but gosh if there was just she's only nine you know she's only nine and there have been no signs there have been no just her belly and we thought okay she's probably allergic to a medication because she was super gassy but I guess it was just because of all that pressure on all of her organs from all the fluid just shoving stuff around I know that I need my dogs more than they need me I know that they are way more helpful to me than I am to them and because they have given me such a gift I need to return the favor and I need to I need to let them go when they're ready to when, when they're ready and we're there and and that's the update and I don't have we don't have a plan yet and so I don't want to you know dwell too much on it until I have a little bit of a plan obviously I'm sad and obviously I feel gutted you know and I'm, I'm drowning myself in busyness because that's the only way that I can deal with it right now and, and, and holes. <laughs> I'm tired of being resilient and I'm tired of being one of God's soldiers. He knows how much you can handle, you know? I'm tired of getting a, at, a, at a girl. You got this. I can't believe how strong you are. I, I, I'm tired, man. I've, I've had too many life-altering traumatizing experiences in my life to add any more to my plate but what I will say is this is in my almost 40 years of life I have been through fires through hell and back and through every single one of those it's always made sense it's always made sense eventually it felt gross and uncomfortable and painful but it always made sense and this will make sense at some point but for right now it doesn't and that's okay I can sit in this confusion and I can sit in this pain and tell God you know 
You're sovereign. Take, take me. I'm yours. Lead me. Show me the way. And this is in your hands. And when you need your angel back, you just let me know because who am I to question his choices and his plan? If you guys believe in prayer and if you are believers and you have an extra spare little five minutes to pray for my family and to pray for, for peace and for grace and for acceptance of, of the cards that we've been dealt, I would be eternally grateful. Prayer is a powerful thing, you guys. So powerful. So I hate to end this video and this supposed to be happy Saturday video with such news, but you're my crew, you're my people, you're my bubble, and I want to bring you along with, with what's going on and what I'm shopping for despite being in a recession and saying I shouldn't be spending money right now. But you know what? For this moment, it's the little things that keep me strong and that keep me holding on. And sometimes those little things are shiny and sometimes they smell good. And sometimes they're fluffy and soft and make you feel good. I genuinely believe in our community and in the power of prayer and also in God's plan. So if you guys are on board, y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do with this vlog, with the links, with the comments, with the prayer, because you've been here long enough to know, to know how we operate. And this is a place where we share and a place where we have a beautiful community that makes the world seem smaller and manageable. Y'all know why we're here. We're here to make friends. We are here to to be real, to make the world seem smaller, to make our problems seem real and manageable. And just like we've gotten through the worst day of our lives, we're gonna get through this one because up till today, we've gotten through the worst day of our lives. So let go and let God. And that's kind of where we're at. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed spending some time with me this Saturday. If you would like to haul any of these products yourself, you guys know with these vlogs, everything's linked in the description box of this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and and hopefully the next time I see you, it's gonna be not with better news, but with respite from everything that's going on in this world and everything that's going on in this life. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.